Well, let's take this equation here, a little complicated, and complete the square. Let's see if we can make a circle out of this yet. And we remember this from Algebra 1. I'm going to start by you know, changing that up. I'm going to use a little color coding. The red terms will be our x terms, and we've got our y terms in blue. And we're going to see if we can make some sense out of this here. We remember the form of a perfect square trinomial, and our my 10x term and my negative 6y would have to be those middle terms, the 2ab. So just stay with me on this one. Watch this. x plus 5, and I'll square that. Where does that come from? Is Well, I'll take half of 10x. That's 5x. Must come from 5 times x times 2. When I look at the blue side, I have y minus 3, quantity squared, negative 6y. Half of that is negative 3y, negative 3, times y. So, aha, we see this pattern here. Now, I put some question marks there because I'm not sure it's still 87. We're going to have to balance the equation again, or rebalance it because I've, I've actually distorted it with these two expressions on the left. And we know that because we're a little back and forth here. We're going to go back and expand. Let's expand the red. Remember, in our form here, I can see I'm, I should have three terms in a trinomial. And then I'm going to expand the blue. And now I say, well, they're not balanced, though. I know. I've got x squared, 5x doubled is 10x, but 5 squared is 25. If I add 25 to this side, I'm going to add 25 to this side. Likewise, when I square negative 3, yes, it's going to be a positive 9. I'll have to add 9 to the other side as well. Now, I've got the equation right where I want it. The red can be expressed as a perfect square trinomial, as can the blue. And I've just got to add up the constants on the right-hand side. So let's, well, let's just do that. I'm going, there's the red. There's the blue. And I'm going to set it equal to 121. I'm just adding up the three numbers. Now, if I were to just look at this, we're really done. I'm just going to go in our more monochromatic look here. And that looks very familiar because that's our circle. Our circle, we got our h and our k, negative 3, and um, negative 5, positive 3. Our radius squared is 121. So we know what the, the figure would look like. And if we wanted a quick sketch, we could even throw one of those in the corner would look a little bit like this. And there you have it. You've just completed the square. Congratulations. Well, here's an exercise from the textbook 27 in completing the square. And I've got this color coded as we've done before, the red and the blue. As we did in the sample, this one's a lot easier. So we, if we remember the form of the perfect square trinomial, this one with a negative sign, we can see we have it already built right into the blue. And we need to be able to recognize that. Because after all, that would be the expression a minus b quantity squared. Well, I guess a is the y, right? Hmm. And b must be the 3. If you don't see it right away, let's just look at the first two terms. Negative 6y, half of that is negative 3y negative 3 times y. And you see we generate the 9 term as well. So really, we're done. We've got our hk, and if I wanted to draw a picture, there it is. And we're finished. And let's move to the next exercise in completing the square, exercise number 28. And again, for your convenience, I've color-coded them. They've 
the author's giving you a funny notion here. You've got x terms or x squared terms, x terms, and y terms here, and, and constants um, scattered all about. Well, um, a quick recollection of our perfect square trinomial shows us that the red expression is already in this form. And we can move directly. By now, we should be able to recognize this, move directly to this form. And what I mean by that is, let's just write it as the product of x minus 4 squared. So, we've got that down. Let's look at the blue. The blue, the same thing. I'm looking at this. And, and again, if you're still rusty on this, just look at it this way. Just focus on the middle term. Half of the middle term, minus 4x, minus 4 times x. That looks good to me. I'm looking at the middle term in the blue or I should say the y term, 2y, half of that is 1y, 1 times y. So that's getting us set up with our binomials. Now, I've still got this 4 over here, and, and I think I'm going to have to make an adjustment. So let's just expand it all like we've done before. See, this? I've got this, this red expression right here is the perfect square trinomial. That was a gift that was already set up for us. And when I expand this y plus 1 quantity squared, y squared plus 2y plus 1, now I'm separating the 4. The key here is I'm separating the 4 into the 1 plus 3. Now I've still got the 25 on this side. I haven't touched, I haven't adjusted it at all. This is where I'm adjusting it. I'm going to remove the 3 from both sides of the equation. Ready? Let's do that. Oh, there it is. So the red trinomial collapses back into this expression. And the blue trinomial collapses into the y plus 1 quantity squared. And therefore, I'm going to set that equal to 22 after taking 3 from both sides. So my h and k are 4, negative 1. But this time, my radius is a radical. If I want to see the graph, it's going to look a little like that, if I just sketch that. And you'll remember the radical 22, it's less than, it's between radical 25 and radical 16. And if you checked with your calculators, it's about 4.7. So that would be a graph, a picture, and there you have it. That is the equation, and you're done. And let's just finish off with one more exercise, completing the square. We'll take it a little faster now. Exercise number 29. We've got this one here. I see an x squared. There's no other x terms. I've got in the blue, I've got the y squared and 4y. So right ahead, right away, we know where we're going with that. Four, half of 4y is 2y. That's 2 times y. So again, I... I, I got this 3 here, and I know I'm going to need to adjust, so let's just expand that perfect square trinomial. And by now, we've got that pattern down. You, whether, even if you have to do the old foil, I've got y squared. 2y doubled is 4y. 2 squared is 4. Now, this, th this 4, I can't just make that up out of nothing. I had a 4 over, I had 3 here. Well, that would be 4 minus 1. So I'm going to group this, all this blue into this trinomial. And the negative one, well, I'll just add that to both sides of the equation. So you see now the, the x squared hasn't done anything. It's just trans, transferred here. I've got the y plus 2 quantity squared. And I've added one to both sides, so I've got 17. If I were to look at this, I would say... I guess my center is at 0, negative 2, and I've got radical 17 for a radius, and the figure would look a little bit like that, and given that that radius is just a wee bit bigger than 4. So there you have it. And let's move on to some other type of problems now.